What is up you guys, my name is Hugh, and today we are going to be fixing this front bumper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this bumper off so I can put the old one on. Uh, I'm gonna take it to the same guys who painted this bumper for me. They did a fantastic job, um, just in general taking good care of this car, making sure all the scratches and dings and dents are gone. Um, I need to go ahead and take the opportunity now to take this uh, stuff off. I gotta take the bumper off, I gotta take the grill off, I gotta take the easy lip off. They disassemble the whole thing so that it's, you know, prepared for them. All I gotta do is just sand it down and repaint it again. Now, if you take a closer look, it has gotten a little worse um, the past couple of weeks. So the crack has gotten bigger. It's actually separated more up here as well. But underneath, underneath is not too bad. I don't know if you guys can see that. Underneath, it's not too bad. So it's just, it's just some little bit of bond doing right here that'll probably fix that mainly concerned about this part here so if i don't take care of this soon this crack could go way up to here and that's not good it, because the worse this crack gets the more i gotta pay to get you know whatever it is fixed so i might as well go ahead and take care of it sooner so let's go ahead and disassemble the bumper and put the old one on which i haven't even tested yet i haven't even put the old one on after i released the video where i worked on the vents for the thing so we'll see what that looks like. I'm kind of curious. So I got pretty much everything disassembled. I got both side vents, the top and bottom grill. I got all the little uh, snap screws, or excuse me, snap releases off. Now what you have to do is to tear the rest of the easy lip off of here and here, and then we should be good to go. Oh yeah, also, I gotta take these off too, which would take no time at all. Alrighty, the OG bumper is back on. I went ahead and packed up the new one, which is in the uh, hatch right now. So it's all loaded up, ready to go. So let's go ahead and transition for tomorrow and go drop off the bumper. All right, it is the next day. We are ready to head out and drop off that bumper. So let's get going, shall we? Alrighty, you. It's time to get you fixed up down there, man. Hopefully that that's not gonna happen again. Cross your fingers. There is another crack on the other side where the passenger is, um, but that I'm also going to point out so they can fix that as well. Because if they have to repaint this whole thing, might as well fig any dings and dents. Because in that way, once I get it back, I'll have to worry about another accident happening again. But that's okay. We're going to get both of those fixed up, and I will let you guys know when I get it back. I'll see you in a bit. It's time to bust my ass and lift some weights. I'm going to need a montage. Yay! Yeah.
There we go. All right, I got that out of my system. I feel great. My mind is sharp. I'm gonna wait a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back over here and go pick up the bumper. It should be done by two days from now. So we'll see you in two days. Woo! Alrighty, so it is a couple days later. I think about four or five days after I dropped off the bumper and we just got back to the garage and I'm about to throw everything back on, but I wanna show you guys how great of a job that these guys do. So if you guys remember, it was down here somewhere and then look up here. Where did that crack go? Hmm. Where is it? It's gone. Now if I go down here too, because the other spot was underneath this. Oh, I gotta grab this kind of funny. Uh, look at that, gone. I don't know how these guys do it, but man, these these people at this cosmetic shop, they the painter does a fantastic job cleaning all this stuff up, man. And I know fiberglass is really hard to work with sometimes, but wow, it's just like it never happened. Now the goal is is to not let that happen again. I just got to be more cautious, a little bit more careful of where I'm going, what I'm going over, and just dodge more holes, dodge more gutters, because that's what I hit. I hit a gutter, and then my car went point. And then I hit that little island next to me and I couldn't make it through because my car was so low. So hopefully we're not going to do that again because I definitely don't want to keep fixing this thing up so many times that it just has a lot of wear and tear and it's just not flexible anymore. Because right now this bumper is still pretty flexible, which is a good thing. But the more you damage you do to a fiberglass bumper, the more bondo and the more stiffer it's going to be. So you definitely don't want to keep doing that and I'm going to be very, very, very careful to try and make this last at least a year before I damage it again. Hopefully not. But it is a hot one today, guys. I think it's about 90, 97 degrees Fahrenheit it's where I had to wear a tank top. And man, it's, it's almost the end of summer for Florida. But whew, it is a, it's not so much the heat. It's just the amount of humidity that the heat is emitting, you know? And you step outside for like two seconds and it's just like immediately sweating. I've been only out, I've been sitting here for like two minutes and I'm already sweating like a crazy maniac. Alright, so let's go ahead and reassemble this bumper and slap it back on the car. So I was just about to put the vents back on, which are these pieces here. Unfortunately, I ran out of uh, the 3M tape that I used to hold this here. It was like a really thick piece over there. So I actually had a roll of this uh, metal mend tape. I'm gonna use a little bit of this and see if I can be able to get these vents back on using this stuff. Supposedly it's very good. At least this will do for now. And then later on, you know, behind the scenes, I'll probably get another uh, roll of that 3M stuff. So almost done getting this old bumper off and then all of a sudden this kid shows up. My brother shows up with his Mustang. And I, we didn't reveal this car too much, but this is a 2004 Ford Mustang V6. Don't worry, it's nothing crazy. And we're just hanging out for a minute. I'm actually helping him clean his wheels. So far, not too bad. We're using uh, this Chemical Guys Diablo wheel cleaner. Super, super strong stuff on top of some of this meany, greeny orange here. This is probably the cheapest way to get some dirt and wear and tear off those wheels, make it all nice and new again. But the cool thing about this car is that it's one of the last models they made 
in 2004. So it's a 40th anniversary edition. You can get these cars all over the place, but not in this particular color, I don't think. They have it in black, they have it in blue, they have it in silver or gunmetal, whatever. The only thing we've done to this car, or as far as he's done over the years, was a intake system. Um, I don't know what brand, I think it's BBK. A dual exit exhaust, brand new headlights. We still need to fix that front bumper a little bit. So it's got a little bit of a scuff, but that's okay. We can probably do that later. He's got the louvers on the quarter panel windows and a killer kicker sticker. What the f And a killer kicker dual subwoofer setup. Tinted taillights and pretty much this whole little piece right here. This little uh, trunk panel it looks like. And then there's the GT rear bumper with the dual exhaust system. I'll leave his Instagram tag in the description below so you guys can go check out some more pictures of what he does and also of the car. bad car man it is a little beat up but there's still some stuff he needs to do on it we need to change a couple pulleys maybe get some oil on it other than that it's still a decently running car he had that thing for damn five years now and it's got over 180,000 miles on it but pretty much all we did a little bit off camera was just detail it you know right, let's go back to this and finish it up all right so far so good we got the bumper mounted up and everything all the snaps are connected all the bolts are drilled in drilled i say drilled i meant screwed in the only thing left is to put the new easy lip on but we ran into a problem yeah, man, you can see it right there i dropped my socket in my cooling fan and i can't get to it all right we got a solution i got a stick genius if you guys ever drop a socket in your car grab one of these things they are super helpful pro tip of the day folks we got done with everything we got everything bolted on new round of easy lifts grill back in the snaps back on we're back in business baby hell yeah i want to give a huge shout out to the guys at Carsmetics. they did a fantastic job their painter who works on fiberglass material did an amazing job fixing that for me i'm just happy i can have the bumper back again so i can do some fresh content for you guys if you guys enjoyed this week's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified of whatever video I post in the future, hit that bell icon and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week, and we will see you goons later. And now it's time for an epic workout montage while I'm busting my ass. <laughs> and now it's time for the buzz. <laughs> Damn it. I die. <laughs> and now it's time to bust some ass and yay, yeah, forgot the line. Damn it. And now it's time to bust ass and kick some weights. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. That's not it. And now it's time to. <laughs> myself and forget the line. And now it's time to live some weights. <laughs>